Hey everyone, I thought I would do a quick video on my absurd collection of Eco Fugus. Now, no one calls this watch the Eco Fugu, but I, I think it should be. I don't know if you've heard of this watch. People call this the Fugu. That's the Japanese word for a puffer fish um, because it sort of resembles that. I mean, most dive watches are round, but this one looks like an inflated puffer fish that has all those little spikes and spines around it. Um, that nickname has even taken hold with some of the most recent Fugus. Uh, Citizen actually calls it that themselves. It has a little engraving on the back of a puffer fish or Fugu. But people call this the Fugu. Um, this is definitely the EcoDrive variant of that watch, or all of these are. Um, so I prefer to call them Eco Fugus, even though no one else does. Now I have, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, which is probably six too many, but I think it is one of Citizen's best watches. Um, and despite having seven, I think there are maybe twice as many colorways, maybe more. Um, I think the watch first came out in the mid-teens, like 2015, give or take. At the time, it was just these, the black dial and the blue dial. Let's see if I can adjust lighting here. These were the BN0150 and 51. Um, those numbers didn't actually refer to the colors. It was more of the place where you would get them um, in the world. Really popular watches, um, mostly because they are ISO certified dive watches. You can tell that a watch is ISO certified if it says divers like that on the dial. Screw down crown, offset here, um, and just very wearable. Now, technically, I think these are 44 millimeters. Let me just verify that. Yeah, 44 millimeter. But wow, they absolutely do not wear that size. Firstly, the lug to lug is 48. But part of the reason why they wear smaller is you can kind of see um, that this distance is, you know, the total case size, but the bezel slopes inward very rapidly. And so they feel smaller. I'm not going to say they feel like a small watch, but yeah, they wear, you know, 42. Yeah, let's just say that. Let's zoom out here. I think they wear really well. That's a seven and a half inch wrist. If you haven't heard of these watches, I'm, I'm not too sure how. They're very, very well known. And I think one of Citizen's better dive watches. But I just thought I would go through a couple, the ones that I have that I really like. I, I, I don't remember the model number of everything. I'll try to put that in the uh, description. But the black and blue dials, part of what I really liked about them was this really nice, um, matte dial. I don't know if that comes across there on the blue. It just makes the watch very readable. And on the black dial, in most lights, it's this really light gray. And the orange hands um, kind of cinches it for me. This is an FKM rubber um, strap that I put on. The others come on their standard, um, I think it's poly polyurethane? P PU? Um, the original watches have the, uh, uh, the no decompression the no decompression limit uh, here pr printed on it. Later watches kind of did away with that. Um, some of the versions of this watch though came on a bracelet and that's the one I think you want to get. Um, I took one of my bracelets from those watches and put it on this, which I think is the BN166, is it? Yeah, so all of these watches are in the BN0150 or BN0160 lineup. I can't remember the last number for each of these, it, it varies. This one though is special. Um, a couple years ago, I think, I think early 20, it could have been 2023, they demonstrated what they called their structural dial. And this kind of color isn't sort of pigmentation. It's more of, I'm trying to move light around so we can see, oh, there we go. It's more of a structural color where there's some pattern embedded on it. Um, they say inspired by like a butterfly's wings. And this kind of floats between blue and green. 
and just looks really, really awesome. I think that with that white chapter ring and the bezel that's blue and green, I just haven't seen that before. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen a picture of it on the bracelet. That's something that I added. Um, you can absolutely buy this bracelet directly from Citizen or get one of the other colorways that has it. But without a doubt, this is my favorite colorway of the bunch. Um, I'm probably, you know, I'm a bracelet person. I'm probably looking to keep these two right here. A mechanical full loom dial. This is the, let's see if I can just loom this up. Really kind of, yeah. Full loom dials are my favorite, but what I love about this one is that the indices are dark black. I mean, so many other watches, I mean, not, not the, um, not the six, nine, and 12, but so many other full loom watches have like loom on loom or white indices on loom. And they really did a great job making that negative. But this one is just a beautiful watch. I need to play around with my lights a bit. Well, let's move on to some of the others um, in addition to the original blue and the original black. Uh, the next one that I got was this guy right here. This is a Pepsi. I think this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a BN0160 lineup watch. And I couldn't tell in pictures if that hand was orange or red. I'm concluding that it's actually red, but when you see it next to that bezel, all right, we've got an overhead light that this just wants to focus on. When you see it next to that red bezel, it just, um, it looks orange. But in case you were curious, I know kind of I was, um, the originals, the orange is clearly and obviously orange. Compared to that, it's a red. Um, when I'm looking at this hand without the bezel, it looks red. Either way, I, um, I really like Pepsi colored watches and I think that's a really nice one. Then I got myself the green and the gold. These are different colors of the BN0150. Uh, there's a red bezeled version. I think there's actually two different green bezeled versions. Um, one has like a green dial with a white chapter ring. But I'm not the biggest fan of green watches. I think it's a very personal preference thing. But when they mix green with other colors, I just think it looks great. Then we have the gold plated um, case version. That's not a solid gold or bronze or anything. I'm pretty sure that's just a plating, but it has a an IP coated bezel that's black as well. And we have the gold second hand. Is that the minute hand? Yeah, all of the hands, the minute hand, second hand or gold again with I'm pretty sure red hand. And then there's this guy. Um, something odd about Citizen I love orange watches, but they actually don't have a ton of orange watches. It's actually hard to find one. I mean, considering they make, who knows, 1,000 watches, 10,000 watches, they have like five orange dialed watches, and most of them are not, not so well done. But this one, I just love it. That has this really cool uh, sunburst style, but sunburst orange. It really does look like it's sun. and. A purple hand it's just bizarre it's so bizarre that I love it um, so not too sure what else I wanted to show in here um, did want to mention that the bezel is 60 click I'm pretty sure it is one two three four five yeah so it's a 60 click bezel nice chunky clicks it's not really a, a luxury or precise watch it's definitely very tooly incredibly comfortable um, I like the uh, offset offset crown yeah, it's just a great watch. Uh, there's no need to have seven or eight of them, though, so I'm probably going to get rid of a few. But um, that's going to be a hard, hard uh, process, <laughs> picking out my favorites. Um, almost certainly these two. I might keep, I don't know, orange one's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, so tell me what you think about these watches, if you have one, if you like them. Um, but I think if you're going to get one citizen or if you're looking for any kind of rugged, reliable quartz diver, um, yeah, there you have a lot of choices, but 
I mean, this is always my first suggestion. The um, Eco Fugu, and I'm the only person who calls it that, but yeah, great watches. Okay, everyone. Thanks, bye.